What are you scrolling for? We got brand new epic bait molds and new unreleased colors from MF. What are you doing? Get in here! What's going on all my fellow bait chuckers out there? Thank you for clicking on the video and a special thank you to all my subscribers. We did it! One thousand subscribers oh goodness that is a lot of you if i were to think about that many subscribers all packed into one room watching at one time over a thousand subscribers i thank you <laughs> if you're not subscribed yet you're gonna want to make sure you smack that subscribe button it's right down there the subscriptions are always free here around the bait chuck and channel and we got lots of great content on the way today we have a big announcement. I mean, today's like a double whammy. We have not only a brand new 1.2 inch crappie slayer from Epic Bait Molds, we also have three unreleased colors from MF and a partnership that I cannot wait to tell you all about. In last week's video, we covered how to make Robo Worms Morning Dawn using MF's Violet Grape. It's a fantastic video. If you haven't seen that video yet, I'm going to put a link to it right up here in the upper right hand corner of the screen. You're going to want to go back and check that one out. After we did this video, I got a lot of comments and a lot of messages on Instagram from several of you a little upset that you couldn't get your hands on some of the violet grape. Just as I expected, you all definitely did a run on this color. You sold out Zaneers and I even heard that Barlow's Tackle got low on stock. The demand was so great that I've got great news for you. I've talked to Jeff. He actually whipped up another batch of the Violet Grape and there's a hundred bottles now available on the website. So you can go to pouryourownworms.com. That is the MF coloring site. I'll have a link to that down below in the description and you can get yourself a bottle of Violet Grape there. It's back in stock for a limited time. He only made a hundred bottle batch. I believe there's a couple pints available as well. So if this is a color you were thinking about getting your hands on, make sure you head on over there and pick a bottle up for yourself. Those of you who follow me on Instagram might have seen the announcement that I put out a couple days ago. And that's right. We are now partnered with MF Colorants. Uh, again, the uh, response was so great from that video. Jeff really likes what we're doing here. As you all know, I, I like to collect colors here, right? I, I have all the dead on colors. I literally just spent $700 on glitter. I bought the entire collection of medium glitter from Loreworks and I bought the entire collection of medium sized glitter from dead on plastics. Because look, we, we need options. And now my mom knows I spent $700 on glitter because she watches the channel. But don't worry mom, it's for science. So when I reached out to Jeff and I actually tried to purchase an entire batch, one of every single color they make, he actually refused to take my money. He appreciated what we were doing here on the channel and actually decided to supply a set of colors. So Jeff, I, I can't thank you enough for supplying a full set of colors to the channel. This will be great for the entire bait making community because this will give us lots of colors to experiment for many, many videos to come. And on top of that, he even put together a discount code for all of you so you can now use code BAITCHUCKIN10 at checkout and get yourself 10% off. And that is a straight discount code. There's no kickbacks. I don't get any money. I don't receive anything from that. That is strictly from Jeff to all of you in the bait chucking community. So if you're thinking about picking up some MF colors, he's got great deals for the small bottles. I think it's if you buy five, you get one free. So for like five, six dollars a bottle, I think 25, 30 bucks, you get six bottles of two ounce colorant. Each one of these bottles is gonna color at least two gallons. I think they're some of the best colors in the industry and I'm very excited to work with MF moving forward. So Jeff, thank you again for supporting the community. We even have three unreleased colors a little bit early. Well, they're unreleased at the time of recording this video, but they're actually live on the website right now. Uh, I don't know what they are in which order because they're unlabeled, but I know the three colors are Nightmare Blue, olive oil and transparent smoke. He has a new section on the website for color drops. Again, these are limited just like the violet grape. There's only a hundred bottles of each. So we're going to show off these colors today. I've never poured them. I have no idea what they look like. I mean, I have a little bit of an idea. 
He sent me some pictures of them, but you know, you really got to take a look at it in person. So we are going to be shooting all three of these new colors today, showing them off in not one, not two, but all three of the Epic Bait Molds Crappie Baits lineup. Let's dive into that for a second. The Epic Baits Crappie Mold started out with the 2-inch. A lot of you are very familiar with the 2-inch Crappie Bait. It's been out for a while. The tail mold is fantastic and we needed more, right? Even in one of my first videos, I complained. I said, Jason, we need a three inch crappie slayer. He listened to us. He brought us the three inch crappie slayer. Another work of art. Beautiful detail on all these molds. A lot of you didn't really want to upsize. You wanted to go smaller and that's cool. You know size doesn't matter, right? The big fish, they bite the tiny ones too. And he listened. You want to talk about detail. This is the 1.2 Epic Crappie Slayer. And I'm telling you, the detail inside of this mold, I didn't know a drill bit could get that small. I mean, this is really, really finite detail in here. I can't wait. I, you know, I even bought myself some jigs. Yep, yep, yep. We got some 1 8 and some 1 32nd ounce jigs. We're gonna try and rig these crappie jigs up when we're done. I did a little bit of test fitting. I think we got the perfect size for the two inch. The hook still might be a tad big for the 1.2, but we're gonna give it a shot. So we got a lot of fun stuff today. There's really no recipe to show because I don't know what we're working with, which is kind of fun for me. So we're gonna dive into some new colors, new molds. What are we waiting for? Let's go. this all right out of the microwave we are right up the temps I am excited because uh, I have no idea what this is gonna be I've shaken this up really good I believe this is the nightmare blue so uh, let's get in close here and see what this is all about let's start with five drops one two three four five let's see what that does Okay, ooh, very light, very light blue. I thought it was so dark, almost like a purple tinge to it there. All right, let's go another, another five. Okay, we're at 10 drops now. Okay, okay, I can kind of see the hint of blue in there. Let's go another five. One, two, three, four, five. Wow, that's like a, I don't know if the camera's picking that up or not. There's a very faint blue glimmer in there. Let's do another five. All right, that's 20. 20 drops. This is very hard to describe. It's almost like a plum purple-ish, or like a charcoal gray, but there's there's blue. Uh, it's like a blue highlight of some kind. Let's pull out the old color sample tester here. What is, what is this telling us? Let's see what this is telling us here. You see that? It's kind of like a, like a purple. Purplish gray. But with that blue going on in there, hmm. Don't know if I want to go darker or not. What do you think? Definitely has some purple vibes to it. Interesting. Very like a light plum purple, but there's blue highlight in there. I think I'm going to go a little more. 
So now we're at 25. That's pretty cool. You know what? Now I'm going to go full 30. There we go. Full 30 drops. We'll get that in there, and I'm sure it'll look darker once the bubbles are vacuumed out. But can you see? There we go. Can you see that blue sheen in there? When I stir it in the cup, you can see it. It's like a dark blue sheen. Very interesting. It's like a purple blue, like a dark plum purple with a blue color change in there. Very interesting. Wow. Okay. 30 drops. If we go at an angle there, you can kind of see that plum purple. That contrast is very hard for the camera to pick up on. But you can see there's that kind of plum purple, but it has that blue highlight in there. I'm anxious to see what these are going to look like in the baits. Let's get this vacuumed out and uh, see what it looks like without all the bubbles and everything in the way. Okay, here's a t another look at it. This is the darker one, the 30 drops, but it's still very, very translucent. And again, that grayish plum purple with just the slightest hint of blue highlight. Can you see that there? I almost wonder if I need to go darker. I think so. I feel like it's just a little too a little too light. What do you think? Okay, call me crazy, but we're gonna add 10 more drops. There we go. 10 more. So that's a total of 40 drops now. And that should really give us they, oh yeah, I'm getting a much, much better effect. Definitely a lot more of the blue in there now. Oh yeah, all right, so let's take, let's take a new color sample. There we go. So this is 40 drops. You can kind of see it right up here towards the tip that kind of burgundy wine, plum wine color. Yeah, now you can see the blue sheen in there. Look at that, like a dark, dark, dark purple with a blue sheen. Oh, that's cool. Very cool, it's, you can see, if I get the light to shine perfectly on it, you can definitely see it's translucent when the sunshine's gonna hit it. And you can see that blue sheen or that blue highlight mixed in there. Awesome stuff. All right. Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's get this shot into some baits and see what it looks like. There you go. Now you can see that blue reflection. Now that it's been all vacuumed out. Oh, this is going to look awesome. All right. Here we go. Plastic fresh out of the microwave. What are we looking here? 350, 340, absolutely wonderful. Beautiful, freshly vacuum packed, nice and stirred. Let's get those surface bubbles out of there. Beautiful, and remember, don't forget the glove up. All right, here we go. Epic Crappie Slayer in MF's new Nightmare Blue. Now Jeff said he called it Nightmare Blue because the color was such a nightmare to make. <laughs> so I hope it's worth it. I'm going to hold a little bit of pressure. This is cold here. There we go. There's the 3 inch Crappie Slayer. Down to the 2 inch Crappie Slayer. Beautiful. Alright, let's top those off. And last but not least, the one inch crappie slayer. That hardly used any plastisol at all. Oh my goodness. All right. There we are. Nightmare blue. Very cool. Like a plum purple with blue highlight. Very, very cool. I know we're doing 
crappie slayer bait today, but I think this would look really good in a worm. I could even see some good uses for uh, flipping and punching with this as well. All right, let's take a look here. We'll start off with the three inch crappie slayer, the big one. Let's see if we can't get this to all come off on one side here. Oh yeah, look at that. There we go. Zoom in there, can you see that? Definitely has that plum purple to it in the tail. Oh yeah, that's that, that purple and blue. Can you see that there, that purple with that blue sheen to it? Awesome stuff. And there you go. Three inch crappie slayer in nightmare blue. If you get in real close, you can see that blue sheen, purplish blue sheen. Very cool. Very, very cool. I could see this used a lot in hand pours as well as finesse worms. This is definitely going to be a cool color. All right, let's see what it looks like in the other baits. Okay, here we go. The two inch crappie slayer. Oh yeah, everything coming out on the one side. And it's interesting, even though it's it's smaller, it takes on a whole different look and feel than the big one that's a little bit thicker, I think. Hmm. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, that's just so fun to pull those crappie baits off like that. So much fun. I'm telling you, the detail in the back, all of that ribbing, Phenomenal stuff. Fantastic tool work as always. I expect nothing less from Epic Bait Molds. Now let's take a look at what we really came here to see. The 1 inch crappie slayer. Well, 1.2 inch crappie slayer to be exact. Let's see here. It looks like a little centipede in there. How about that? Look at all those tiny little baits. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, look at those. Aren't those just the cutest little crappie baits ever? Aww. Look how tiny they are. Look at, they're so cute. Oh yeah, these will catch some crappie for sure. There you go. Look at that cute little thing. It's just a baby. Look at that. 1.2 inch crappie slayer. And there you go. Look at that tiny little thing. Huh? So we got the 3 inch crappie slayer, the 2 inch crappie slayer, and the 1.2 inch crappie slayer. So tiny. I hope my jigs are small enough to fit that. That's, that's that's tiny. You don't realize how small 1.2 inches is till you actually hold it on your fingertip. That is a tiny, tiny little bait. Crazy. You can still see all the tooling detail on that small of a bait. Look at that. That's insane. Well done. Whew. All right, time to mix up two more colors. We got two more rounds. Let's see what else we got from these new MF colors. All right, here we go. Cup of plastic number two. Let's get you down in here. Ready to go, fresh out of the microwave. Now let's check this. This is, I believe, going to be the olive oil. I'm guessing. You know, it's either olive oil or it's transparent smoke. Again, let's start off with our five traditional drops. One, two, three, four, five. All right, and let's see what this turns out to be. Oh yeah, I think this is definitely gonna be our olive oil. Oh yeah, oh, I can't wait to see what this looks like. Another five. One, two, three, four, five. This is gonna put us at 10 drops. Oh yeah, look at that. Just like olive oil. Just like olive oil. Another five. All right, there's 15. 
and I can already tell I'm thinking the sweet spot is going to be at 20 for this one right here. I don't know if you can see that brown, brownish green in the cup. Looks beautiful. Another five. Alright, there we go. We're going to keep that there at 20 drops total. Oh, look at that kind of deep olive green. It does look just like olive oil. Wow. Oh, that's awesome. All right, let's get this in the, let's get some of this in the test cup, see what we're working with. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, that is cool. That is really cool. You can see how up here it's a kind of a lighter olive oil green and it just goes down into a darker green. There you go. That gives you a good look at it right there. Definitely that olive oil yellow amberish gold that goes down into the darker olive oil. Oh, that's really cool. That is a cool color. All right, we got to get this back in. Let's get all those bubbles out. I need to see what this looks like in a bait. Now, Jeff said this is one of his favorite colors that he's ever poured. And, uh, yeah, I can see why. Okay, we got to get the bubbles out of this. I mean, yeah, that's olive oil. That is awesome. All right, I think we should be looking pretty good. What are we at here? Oh yeah, 350, 340. Looking good. Olive oil, MF olive oil, fantastic. Let's get rid of some of these surface bubbles. There we go. <laughs> I almost forgot the glove up. All right, here we go olive oil in the 2 inch, 3 inch, and the 1.2 inch epic crappie slayer. Here we go. We're going to start with the 1 inch, 1.2 inch first this time. We're going nice and slow, a little bit of pressure, make sure to get it all the way throughout that bait. Those tails are very, very tiny. We're going to go nice, slow pressure. There we go. The two inch, feeling good, feeling good, topping off that, moving over to the three inch. Look at that, there we go, again holding some pressure. Awesome. Wow, what a cool color. Olive oil, huh? I like it. Look at that. You can see it's got that golden olive oil look on the tip of the injector for sure. It should look good in the baits. Okay, here we go. Three inch crappie slayer. Oh, and they're all going to come out on that side. Oh, would you look at that. Whoa. Ho, 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 ho. Look at that. Ladies and gentlemen, MF olive oil. Start from this end here, huh? Wow. Whoa. Now that is a beautiful color. absolutely beautiful 20 drops in one cup look at that wow absolutely beautiful the crappie slayer I tell you the way it just goes from thick to thin you got the roundness on the bottom the flatness on the top it really does show color well I mean look at that that looks like a laminate, and it's not even a laminate. It's just, it's like a changeable without being a changeable. I mean, it's, oof. 
That's so cool. Three inch crappie slayer. Let's see what the other ones look like now. I'm excited. Okay, here we are. Two inch crappie slayer. Side, does everything want to come out on? There we go. Oh, holy cow. Wow. Whew. Olive oil. Okay, this this just jumped up to the top of the list. This is top five. Easy. Oh, wow. Beautiful color. Okay, I got to see what the 1.2s look like. Here we go. 1.2 inch crappie slayer. What's it look like? Oh, beautiful. Looks like we got all the little tails to complete. Yep. Oh, it's so satisfying, huh? Pulling baits out of the mold for the first time. So satisfying. Look at that. It looks just like olive oil. Wow. Super cool. Super cool. Even in a tiny little bait like that, it just shows off the color tremendously. Yeah. All right, here we are, our third and final cup of plastic, all heated up, ready to go. And the last color we have here, this is going to be the transparent smoke. So this is going to be a really nice transparent black. One, two, three, four, five. Starting off with our five drops. Oh yeah, and you can see that barely tinted up the plastisol at all. Another five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Oh yeah, this is definitely a light, transparent smoke. All right, let's go another five. Oh, that was a little tiny smidge more. Maybe that was like five or six. Okay, look at that. Another five. So this is 20. So there's 20 drops. And it's definitely smoke. I mean, it's a very light, translucent smoke. It looks a lot darker, like on the camera right now. But I'll go ahead and pour some since we're at... 20 drops, you can see it's, this is going to be darn near transparent. Very light smoke. Very, very light. I kind of like it. We can kind of creep up on it there. I definitely think we need to go darker though. I'm going to add 10 more drops. We're going straight to 30. Okay, wow, still very, very, very translucent. Okay, we are now up to 40 drops. But now we got a real nice smoke going. Look at that, that's like the perfect, the perfect smoke. Look at that. definitely gets a little bit darker there you go now that's a good way to look at it there you can see how translucent the one was with 20 drops we doubled it up to 40 and now we're definitely getting some shift between the light and the dark oh yeah you know what this needs though we're gonna make this pop we are going to make this pop I've got just the thing Okay, we are going to add in a little bit of the MF Disco Violet. This smoke gray right now is really reminiscent of an electric shad. And, uh, you know, I think it's just calling out for some Disco Violet Flake. Now we're going to go heavy with it. 
Oh yeah, look at that. We're going a full quarter teaspoon in there. That is going to look awesome. Oh, that is screaming. Oh, that is it all. Can you see that? Can you see that right there? Oh, this is screaming electric shad. Oh, look at this. Oh, yeah. That is going to look awesome. All right, let's get this vacuumed up. Let's get all these bubbles out of here. And let's get pouring because this is going to be an awesome, awesome color. Here's a great look. So here it was at 20 drops. Here it was at 40 drops. And this is the 40 drops with the Disco Violet Sparkle in there. Really gives off that electric shad vibe. So I like this a lot. Now I know you could probably jump straight to here with one drop of black in most cases. But I kind of like how you can really gradually build your way up to it. You know, it kind of gives you, if you really want to just use this to set off a little bit of your color shift powder, things like that, I think that this is going to be great to pull off those type of effects. You can keep things relatively translucent, but still have enough darkness in there to uh, set off the color of whatever it is you're trying to set off. So I think this is probably going to be a really good backer for a lot of powders, and pearls and color shifts so this could be really really cool all right here we are fresh out of the microwave after we've been vacuumed what are we looking at here 313 310 that's perfect we definitely want to keep it low temp because we have that kind of sparkle violet flake you can see just the increasing of heat of the vacuum pot definitely brought some of it over 320 degrees and some of it starting to turn a little bit bluish green but that's okay we're just experimenting here so that's the thing with that sparkle glitter it's extremely delicate you have to use it right away pretty much mix it and then uh, you know use it so can't get that temperature very hot but here we go Transparent smoke with a little bit of disco violet flake in the crappie slayer family. All right, we're starting with three inch. There we go, definitely holding some pressure. On to the two inch. Okay. Shoot felt pretty good, everything's smooth so far. Over to the one inch. Alright. Top everything off. And we're good to go. It's definitely transparent smoke. That's for sure. Taking a look at the plug left over. My suspicion was definitely correct. This transparent smoke is definitely going to be a good backer when you're wanting to show off a glitter or a powder. You can see it really shows off the Disco Violet Flake really good while still being relatively translucent. I mean, it's, it is a transparent, see-through, smoky gray, almost clear but it really sets off that flake without being overpowering. Very interesting. Definitely a utility color, that's for sure. Okay, here we go. Three inch crappie slayer in the transparent smoke with a little bit of that disco violet flake. And look at that. That is definitely transparent and is definitely smoky. Depending on the angle you look at it, you get that smoke. There you go. Look at that. And you definitely get that glitter showing through. It's a pretty cool color. Like I said, I definitely think this is going to be a utility color. It definitely has that kind of dark to light changeable effect. The crappie baits show this off extremely well. 
But as mentioned, I think it's going to be a fantastic backer for powders and glitters and things of that nature. So if you're someone who uses a lot of glitters, a lot of powders, this is probably definitely something you're going to want to invest in. Uh, I can see this being utilized a lot in hand pours because a lot of powders are used there. This can give you a nice kind of transparent smoky skin color. Really, really cool. And again, it just, yeah, you can see all the way through it, which is, you know, a great clear water killer. Cool stuff. Let's see what it looks like in the smaller baits. Okay, here we go. The two inch. How are we looking? How are we looking? There we go. There we go. You can see when you get on that angle, you get that smoky color. But straight on, it's transparent. You look down the side and you definitely get that smoke. Pretty cool. I like it. I, I'll be honest, I didn't like it at first. I was a little uh, uninspired, but after we dropped the uh, Disco Violet Flake in there, it turned out pretty good. Like I said, utility color. You need those. Okay, and last but not least, the 1.2 inch Crappie Slayer. 28 cavities, by the way. I don't think we've mentioned that yet. Look at that. Oh, yeah, again, you get that smoke on the angle. Look at all those tiny baits. Look at all those tiny, tiny baits. Good stuff. All right. Well, you know what time it is. Let's get some close-ups, and then we will meet you back round for some rigging. The 1.2 inch crappie slayer. Tiny little thing, isn't it? Oof. Yeah, I tell you, these colors turned out really, really good. The olive oil is definitely a favorite of mine. I really like the nightmare blue, and I definitely see a use for the transparent smoke. Uh, I think I might try and experiment with this a little bit more, try some darker, because according to the pictures that Jeff sent to me, I didn't quite get as dark as the pictures he sent. So maybe I'm not putting enough, but again, 40 drops on the transparent smoke. Good utility color. Definitely not the wow factor that we got from the olive oil. I mean, this is just phenomenal and I can't wait to see what this looks like in the sunlight. Now, real quick, I want to talk a little bit about rigging. Now, according to Jason, the 1.2 inch crappie slayer as well as the two and the three inch, these all do really, really good on the VMC moon eye jig head hooks. Now, I unfortunately couldn't find any of those locally here and I couldn't get order some in time to have them delivered before the filming of this video. All I could find were the Eagle Claw jig heads. I did get the 130 seconds, which is the smallest that I could find. And then I also did find the 1 16th as well. So I did the best I could with rigging up these baits with these two sizes that we have here. First, we'll start off with the three inch crappie slayer. And here is the three inch crappie slayer rigged up with that 1 16th ounce jig head. 
So you can see the 1 16th ounce is a really good size for the uh, 3 inch here. Uh, the hook comes out just about the right place we want on the back here. And this is going to have some real nice action as it's jigging through the water. Again, you're just going to want to get jiggy with it, shake that tail, get that tail moving up and down, and it's going to look real good underwater. Right size hook for the right size bait right there. Scaling down a little bit smaller, still sticking with the 3 inch crappie slayer. Here's what it looks like with the 1 32nd ounce jig head in there. So again, I'm going to hold these up here. Here you have the 1 32nd and here you have the 1 16th. And looking side by side you can see the hook comes out a little bit lower. It's a tiny bit of a bigger hook. Definitely feels like it's one size up on the 1 16th. But there you go right there, the two of them side by side, rigged up. If you want to go really, really light, you can do the 1 32nds on the 3 inch as well. Now scaling it down to the 2 inch crappie slayer, the 1 32nd turns out to work pretty, pretty good. So you can see here, the hook comes out right where we want it to, right in the center of the back, a little bit towards the tail, but that's okay. But there's no way we could fit the 1 16th. It just would have been too big. It would have completely blown out the back of the tail. But here it is, the 2 inch crappie slayer on the 1 16th ounce jig head. And again, real, real nice action inside of the test tank. That tail is going to be jiggling back there. And I really love the way that the electric shad looks. That smoke uh, really has a really nice look underwater, I got to say. Definitely looks different underwater than it does in person, that's for sure. So now, scaling all the way down to the 1.2 inch crappie slayer. Again, the uh, the 1 32nd ounce jig heads is the smallest that I got. And here you go. I couldn't even hook it all the way up the back because I didn't really want to blow out the back of the tail. So it doesn't even really come up over the, uh, the, the bait hook guard there. But uh, as you can see, it's a tiny, tiny little bait, very, very micro, ultra, ultra light line. If you're going to be throwing this on a casting rod, you are definitely going to need some BFS gear for sure. But uh, yeah, 1.2 inch crappie slayer. Uh, looking at the action inside of the test tank, that tail definitely still has action, even though it's super, super tiny. But this is definitely one size too big of the jig head. So I'm going to have to try and find something a little bit smaller. If you are in a pinch, just to show you, you can rig this up. Just slide it all the way up to the collar of where the bait stop starts. And you can kind of get away with using a 1.2 inch crappie slayer on this 1 32nd ounce jig. And here's one last little look at them. Here is the 3 inch along with the 2 inch side by side. And again... These little jig heads should do really good. So, you know, I don't really fish for crappie, but I know a lot of you out there are huge, huge crappie fans. So I, I hear they're fun. I just, there's a bunch of them at the Delta. I just haven't found any or really been fishing for them yet. But now that I have a family of crappie bait molds, I'm definitely going to give it a shot here. We might have to dedicate some videos to it in the future. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think. Also, let me know, what do you think of these new colors? Don't forget... That MF discount code now, bait chucking 10. There's a hundred bottles each of all of these colors: the violet grape, the nightmare blue, the olive oil, the transparent smoke, limited drops of these colors happening now over at MF Colors. PourYourOwnWorms.com. And don't forget, if you want to pick up any of the molds that you're seeing, head on over to EpicBaitMolds.com. They have a discount that always applies if you put three or more molds in your cart you get 10% off. So that is always active, no codes, nothing to enter. You put three molds in your cart, you get 10% off. So special thank you to Epic Bait Molds for partnering up with us for this video today, bringing you the 1.2 inch as well as the two inch crappie slayer molds. You'll definitely see more of these on the channel in the future. If you got some colors you wanna see again, let me know in the comments below. And with that, until next time, you all know who it is. Your friend on this end, Michael, out here around the Delta Slews, reminding you to keep on chucking. I'll get back with you.